hey i'm a local hippie and i you cannot hear me at all in this clip i'm just introducing the video and talking about the fact that this is going to be a reading vlog and <laughs> that's about it and i'm sick um which i'm going to get into in just a second here finished the first Eva. I think I might have said her name wrong in the introduction. I think I called her Eve O'Hare, but her name is actually Eva O'Hare. Either way, I just finished, I think it's called The Mating Trials, book one. Um, and I thought it was really good. It was, it was very short. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I think I'm going to go ahead and rate it like 3.5 stars. And it was a very, very short read. Um, and I think what she was saying was that she was releasing this book in like segments on Kindle novella. So the other book is not available on Audible because you know I was looking for it after I finished it, but I couldn't find it. So I think I'm going to listen to Kings of the Wild next. I started last night before bed. But yes, um, like I was saying, I think I'm going to go ahead and start listening to um the kings of the wild i'm gonna place a photo of it on the um on the screen i got this recommendation from heather mccleary i think her name is and i started it last night before bed physically reading it in my kindle um so now i'm gonna listen to it today as i'm at work get a feel for it see how much i like it um but yeah that's my update for now and um, I'll update you whenever I have something significant to say. Hello. I am home from work and i read one full book today um and that was the mating trials book one which i thought was really good and i said that so much earlier so yikes yeah i thought it i, I liked it um it was basically about a girl um being picked up and sent to this like compound kind of thing um totally apart from normal society in like this dome essentially um to mate with an alien that's literally the whole plot of that book was that she would mate with this alien we don't really know like why <laughs> this exists how this exists like where did this come from how did we figure this out but listen no words just vibes vibes all the way around um and i thought and i thought it was really entertaining and i didn't i didn't want it to end as i was listening and it made me blush okay that book made me blush and then um for the rest of the day I started listening to Kings of the Wild. Um, I don't know if I'm halfway through or what, but I got a decent amount through Kings of the Wild and I was and I am loving that too. One thing is just, you know, hmm. Hmm. Like whenever 
white authors want to write black characters it's like why do they always like either make them really good to the point where it's impossible where it's unbelievable where it's unbelievably comical they make them super strong super violent like the best fighter the best warrior there is to the point where it's unbelievably comical like why like why do you see that why do you feel the need to do that because when you do that as a white author you know what that's telling me as a black reader you know what it's telling me it's telling me that your idea of black people comes from what you've seen on tv or what you've read in novels written by other white authors which is not accurate at all like come on i'm gonna need some diversity okay or maybe just not just don't write black characters how about that because if you don't know black people personally in your life and it's so obvious that you don't by the way that you write them and you and you and you stereotype them you should probably just leave that alone leave that alone i would still read your book if there was not one black character in it i really truly would because i don't care it actually it makes me not want to read any more of your work when you use black characters as devices they're not even a full character like why does Galkalon not have a last name why does oh no does oh no i don't think still why does he not have a last name why is he not a complete character why why yeah you know a white author that writes great black characters you know james patterson he's got a whole series based on a black man and you know as a black girl i think it's kind of accurate as to what black people are like you know what i can tell i can tell james patterson has some black friends he knows some black people and you know what cool it's not that i have a problem with white authors writing black people i have a problem with white authors who have no idea how diverse being a black person can be because for some reason authors tend to think that we're just like one kind of person the stereotypical kind like the black exploitation kind like it's so weird it's weird black people read there are smart black people you know educated black people you know black people that don't know how to fight you know black people that don't want to fight have no desire to fight you know it's weird it's it's strange man it's strange out here being a black reader trying to read black characters written by white authors it's it's ridiculous it's ridiculous because we're either a device we're like a token character just or just a diversity character and those two are like one and the same and you know yeah it's it's annoying you know but um yeah that that was basically what i read today um i don't feel well so that is going to be this vlog that is going to close this vlog out um yeah i didn't mean to rant but that's what happened um so uh, yeah i hope you have a good day i hope you have a good evening and yeah i'll see you when i see you bye